Hey trombone players, there's a lot of you who need to learn Zephyrus. Um, this is a great fun piece to play and uh, I'm going to go through the whole thing and help you make sure you know how to play all of it. Since this is one of the first pieces we learn in advanced band, I'm going to go through some of the more simple things that we learn, like multi-measure rests. A multi-measure rest, in simple terms, is just a very, very big long rest. At the beginning of the song, there's a big black line with an eight over it. That is called a multi-measure rest. The eight means that we need to count to eight measures of rest. Now, in this song, I'll just go ahead and tell you we count to four. Now, there's a little typo on the paper. They didn't include what's called the time signature on the paper. Most of the songs, in fact, every other song in the book does not have a typo. If you flip backwards uh, a few pages to uh, one of your other advanced band songs, um, Star Wars or um, Excitation March, you'll see a couple numbers at the beginning of the song. So what's supposed to be written there is, a, is like a fraction, 4 over 4. And the top number four tells us we count to four. So you can just take my word for it. When we count the big rest at the beginning of the song, we're going to count a special pattern to make sure we keep track of how many times we've counted. You can listen to me count this a few times, and then you'll catch on as we eventually go. So when I start the song, I say, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three. Two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, and eight, two, three, four. Then I play. So if you need to practice doing that with me, rewind the video a little bit and do that with me. Other than that, we're ready to get started with the notes. The way I'm going to practice this particular song, because there's a lot of similarities between the different parts of the song, is I'm just going to kind of practice it with you and go through step by step. So the first thing we play is a big long C and a big long G. Now, the name of the game in this song is to make really beautiful Gs and make really beautiful A flats, which is a note that we learned for this song, or you're going to learn for this song. So let's start with the first two notes of the song. In order to make sure my lips are ready to play a nice G, I'm going to start by doing the, <clears throat> the jumping up pattern that we use a lot. So what I'm going to do is hold my slide in position number four here, and I'm going to jump up to that G and make sure I hit it right on. Let's see if I get it on my first try. <laughs> sort of like when a runner stretches before they run. So once I can play the G and it sounds really, really beautiful, then I'm ready to start playing my song. So at the beginning, after I've counted or pretended to count my rests, I can play nice and loud on the first two notes. And since I've played a really, really nice G there, I know I'm ready to go on. Now section number 11, where the big square number 11 is, this part of the song doesn't have anything too tricky. You just have to be nice and strong playing a G. So I'm gonna play it two times, once slow and once fast at the real speed, and you can follow along and practice this. I wouldn't recommend practicing the rest of the song until you can play this section um, at the fast speed. So here I go in 11. My first job is to get a really strong G on the first note. One, two, eleven, ready, go. Now I kind of missed my G at the beginning and you might too, so I'm going to try that one again. One, two, ready, here I go. Rest, 
rest, rest, rest. So now I'll go back and I'll play 11 again. And this time, I'm going to play it at the speed that we like to play it in band. So this might go a little faster. If you're not ready to go faster yet, then rewind the video and play it again with me at the slower speed first. Here's a faster speed at measure 11 of Zephyrus. Here I go. One, two, ready and go. If you need more practice playing that faster, rewind this video several, several times, play it with me, or just pause it and play it on your own. The sections of the song only get a little bit tri more tricky from here, so you don't want to do anything else until you've mastered this section. And this would be a great goal to reach in a day or a couple days of practicing. So you can pause this right now and practice if you like. The next section we're going to do, because it's so, so very similar to this, it's almost exactly the same, is we're going to jump all the way to the end of the song number 51. I'm really just going to jump into this part, because if you've mastered 11, you should have no problem with 51. So here I go on 51. I'll go a nice medium speed, not too fast on my first try. One, two, 51, go. <laughs> song with me they need to practice the end of the song so first we can really go to the very very end and play the last four notes I'm not sure why but a lot of people miss the last two notes of the song so I'm just gonna play the end that goes E D C C one two last four notes of the song I would probably go back and practice that a couple times and make sure you got it so the only thing that was new in the 51 section was the part that went 8th, 8th, rest, 8th, 8th, rest, 8th, 8th, rest, 8th, 8th, rest on the, on the last line. That's kind of a new section. It's fun, and I'll probably practice that by itself. 1, 2, E flat is first go. <laughs> be a great time to pause the video again and play the ending that I just played. Now going to something that's also similar but it is very different, we're going to go ahead and work on measure 20 and get our first exposure to the note A flat. Let's talk about the note A flat. <clears throat> first, how it looks. If you look up at measure 20, follow along with your finger or your eyes. There are no numbers on the measure in this song, so follow along your finger and make sure you know what I'm talking about. The first note at 20 is G, G, F, F, rest, D, E, E flat, G, A flat, there it is. It's on the very top line of the staff with the line running through it. It's really, really a similar note to G for your lips and blowing, that means we need to put it on the upper partial. So I want you to think back to beginning band and think about when we first learned F, we did something like this. And if you're working on Zephyr, it mean, Zephyrus, it means you're very, very good at doing that. Then when we got to page seven, I said, hey, here's a trickier one. We're gonna put our slide in position number four and jump up to a G. And you even did that with me as a warm-up on this video. Next, I'm going to give you one that's even a tiny bit trickier, and we're going to move up to that third position there, and I'm going to cheat to find my third position by just brushing my fingers against the bell there. 
and I'm gonna go from an E flat up to a new note A flat up on the next partial. So instead of going fourth position D jumping to G, I'm gonna go from an E flat jumping to an A flat like this. So listen carefully to how my notes sounded. Pause the video and see if you can make your notes sound just like mine, leaving your hand in that third position. Once you think the A flat is popping out and you're making noise on it, let's play the measure that I just talked about. So you followed along with your finger from 20. It went G, G, F, F, rest, D, E flat, and then we're gonna play starting on the next note. So this is the third measure, the third box of music after measure 20. It goes G, A flat, G, G. We'll play it several times. G, A flat, G, G. Here I go. You can pause the video or you can try it with me. Here I go again. G, A flat, G, G. Ready and go. One more time. One, two, just that pattern go. So it's not much of an arm movement. Now let's go back and play slowly at 20. If you're not ready to go back at 20 and play yet, keep practicing the pattern we just played. Here's 20, I'll play slowly. One, two, slow 20, here we go. Here we go. ahead at measure 20 here's the faster speed one two ready and go and then we rest I'm gonna save the rest of the piece for another video if you can play the three sections that we worked on in this video 11 51 and 20 that's fantastic you can move on to my part 2 video for Zephyrus if you still need practice on these three sections these three are the most important so stick with it and keep practicing don't worry about the middle of the song yet stay safe stay healthy and I'll see you guys later